fast forwarding your eyes are getting heavy you're getting sleepy when you wake up you will never fast forward again of strange stuff here look at this this is like upside down really really different and that's not all folks we have Hatfields and McCoy's that cartoon that they kept fighting over I think that statue and then at the end of the cartoon the statue was actually buried in the leaves uh, so I don't know if you're that old, uh, but I feel old right now if you guys do not even know what that is. So, screw you. Okay, we, what do we have here? A museum. Oh, Comedy Barn. I think I need to apply for a job, guys. I think so. Okay, continuing, we see the Titanic. Look at that. It's kind of like the Wisconsin Dells. Um, I haven't seen anything like Branson uh, before except when I went to Wisconsin Dells and here's this is another town that they have a lot of tourist attractions pretty neat to see all that don't see that every day so she said I finally made it into Gatlinburg Tennessee um, at the tourist trap is that what I call it um, any kind of tourist uh, locations you do not want to go with me because 99% of the time I'm not looking at none of that mess because I'm not buying it I had to pass local borough up to find a parking spot but I finally did uh, but I'm passing all the shops up and um, yes I am not worried about none of this I'm only looking at it because I wanted to get um, some extra footage for you guys All this stuff's probably marked up about 500% anyway, at least. Uh, just for people that want to go places and say, Hey, I bought something from somewhere that I don't live. So if you want that, I got t-shirts for sale. You can do the same thing. I'm already at Loco Burrow now, so I'm walking inside and I'm going to do this burrito challenge. As I was walking in the door, the family in front of me, um, they were going to the same location, but they was having a hard time trying to get that stroller up that escalator. Um, it is a narrow one, so that's what she said. No, she didn't. But uh, eventually, they'll get it up here. That's what she said, too. Let's go do that, uh, that burrito challenge. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hopefully, huh? I do have a special treat for you guys at the very end after the challenge. I spent a whole $5 extra for you guys. That's how much you guys are worth. No, you're worth more than that. Okay, here comes the burrito. Um, they're about to send it out. Yep, here we come. All right, I'm gonna tell you what's all in this burrito. It's rice, refried beans, black beans, cilantro, sour cream, guacamole, lettuce, tomatoes, and seasoned beef topped with chili con carne, an authentic blend of Mexican cheeses and pico de mayo. The gallo. You know what the heck I'm saying. I'm not Spanish Mexican. 
It also has habanero peppers on it and it weighs six and a half pounds approximately. I'm going to be really, really descriptive about this burrito because there's a lot of people, not a lot of people, there's some that's really getting annoyed with my um, my food reviews. And I'm going to let you know now, again, I'm a professional eater, not a professional food reviewer. So if you want to check Corey Styles out, the Thick and Chunky Show, um, he does better food reviews than me, okay? But this one is going to be really crazy because I am going to get really deep into this. That's what she said. Oh, that's what I said. She did not say that. Okay, this burrito tasted cylindrical, okay? That word, a lot of syllables. I know that sounded really good to you. Tasty, gourmet cheese on top of all that cylindrical goodness but uh beans rice oh, cheese if you ever had mexican food you know what i'm talking about so that's what i gotta say so thank you very much oh and for the grand finale here i paid five extra dollars to ride this donkey three times yes you know she said that but I am going to do this for you guys after the burrito. After five pounds of burritos, I did this for you. Done. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to watch it on Roku on your TV, please search the garbage disposal and lock that in. Um, I have shirts in. This is unisex shirts. On those, I have a choice of have a great day, Lynch made of the plans, or that's what she said. Have them all the way from small to 5X, excluding 4X. Um, also, I have brand new shirts in of the women's cuts. Uh, the women's cuts only come in have a great day unless you made other plans, but I have them all the way from small to extra large. I also have tank tops in women's already right now, and I have tanks in men's in probably the spring or the summertime. So uh, get with me on my social media, and it's right here on the home page, uh, right here in the top right corner. You can get with me. The best time, best uh, to get with me is my Gmail, and just put T-shirts as the subject title. But any of those, you can probably try to get get with me at. Um, but subscribe to my page, hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming events, live streams, and videos. Uh, please hit the like button for me. And um, if you could, please share with your family, friends, and even your boss. Have a great day, unless you made other plans.